Really? Cut it out! No, you pathetic whelp. I'm showing you just what a hero should be. You're not hero material. So you need to get lost and never come back to the school again. I deserve to be here. I am going to be a hero. Yeah, we'll just see about that. Ah! Oh, oh, man, my head. Enjoying your nap, Nick. Professor Olsen, I, I was just, um... It's time for class. Now come on, let's go. Look, Professor, I don't even know why I even bother going to these classes. I know I'm not wanted at this school, so I should probably just go. Nick, how bad do you want to be a hero? More than anything, Professor. You know that. Then come with me. All of the greatest heroes went to this school. Whether they were Omega-level superheroes or just sidekicks, they all came through these doors. Wow, look at that. They all had to start some Somewhere, just like you. Look, I'm willing to try, but I don't even have any superpowers. So what good am I? Everybody has powers and skills. They just need to learn how to use them. Just because you can't fly around or shoot lasers from your eyes doesn't mean you're any less of a hero. Oh, I'm not going to let anybody get in my way. I'm going to learn how to be the greatest superhero of all time. Well, you can't do that by taking naps in the hallway. Now get to class. Professor Olsen is right. Every hero had to start somewhere. And this is my start. I'm going to be the best hero of all time. Oh, well, if it isn't little Pipsqueak, what are you up to, kid? Minding my own business, Dylan. Just leave me alone. You know, what even are your powers? How'd you even get into this school? From the looks of it, I haven't seen any powers from you. I don't have any. Yeah, I didn't think you did. I mean, who would expect much from a pathetic little weakling like you? I don't need powers to be a hero. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to continue training. <laughs> All the training in the world isn't going to save you from failing out of this place. Last time I checked, I actually had better grades in classes than you, Dylan. Grades? Grades mean nothing when a psycho is trying to burn down the city. A crazy psychopath burning down the city? Hmm, kind of sounds like you, Dylan. You better watch it before I blast that smirk right off your face. All right now, Dylan, come on. Haven't we heard enough from you? Quit picking on the kid. What do you mean quit picking on the kid? You know he deserves it. I told you to get lost. You listen once and you listen close. I will make sure you do do not make it in this school. Hey, are you all right? I'm really sorry about him. He's, you know, a character. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Thanks for uh, sticking up for me back there. I I'm Nick, by the way. What's your name? Nice to meet you. I'm Noah. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you too. It's nice to meet someone that doesn't pick on me or call me a sidekick. Uh, don't listen to any of them. There's plenty of good kids around here. Now, well, look, you might want to get going. I know you got a big day tomorrow. Big day? What's happening tomorrow? Whoa, is that really him? Uh, hey, that that's Spider-Man. Hi. Uh, Hey, everybody, calm down, calm down. Yes, it is me, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Now, I wanted to come by and tell you all, being a hero is more than just having powers. It's a responsibility. You've all accepted that responsibility coming into this school, and you'll all become great. Hey, you. Uh, me? Yeah, why don't you be the first one to show off your powers? Um, sure. Oh, man, Nick, what are you doing? <sighs> okay. What's there to show off? This loser ain't got no powers. <laughs> What? You don't have any powers. N no, no, I don't. Uh, guys, making fun of people, really not cool. And you, why don't you just uh, leave the assembly? What, me, why? What did I do? Your energy is just kind of killing our really good vibe, man. Ugh, <sighs> whatever. What he said, Spider-Man, is it's true. I don't have superpowers. Kind of useless. That's not true. You're not useless at all. You've got to just believe in yourself. Well, I'm going to train as hard as I can, and I'm going to be the best hero ever. Yeah, that's the spirit. Now, come on. Show me what you've got. Ugh, I don't know, Noah. I don't think I'm going to get the hang of this. It's all right. Just take it easy. Watch. Nice and simple. You focus, and then... Oh, that was incredible. All right. Now you try. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Just have to focus and Ha! Did I miss it? D did you see anything? Uh, no. Look, maybe try again. Hey, loser! A little busy here, Dylan. I don't care how busy you are. I can't believe you. You embarrassed me in front of Spider-Man. I embarrassed you? Dylan, you did that all on yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take Nick's side on this one. I'm gonna be honest. You started it. It was just a joke. Well, it wasn't very funny. Spider-Man didn't think so either. That's it. You and me right now, we're fighting. No, I'm not gonna fight you. Was I asking you a question? Ow! Oh, oh. Dylan, back off! You're not always gonna have your friend to fight your battles for you. I don't need anybody to fight my battles for me. I can do it myself. Yeah. Oh, what? You think you're so tough now, do ya? You better watch your back. Nick, 
Are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm not gonna let anyone pick on me anymore. I'm sticking up for myself from now on. All right, one more time. Just like Noah said, focus and ha! Huh, nothing, not even a spark. Uh, so stressed out. Why can't I figure out what my power is? Whatever, I'm gonna spend all night here if I have to. Whoa, hey, hey, what's all the commotion going on down here? Whoa, I can't believe it. Uh, Iron Man, is that really you? In the flesh. Man, you're one of my favorite heroes. Ha, huh, thanks. And I have to say, I do not get sick of hearing that. What are you doing here super late at night? I'm trying to figure out what my superpower is. I'm gonna be the greatest hero of all time, but I don't have any powers. Well, you just need to believe in yourself, kid. Or just build yourself an incredible super suit like I did. I'm trying to believe in myself. It's just not easy. Did anybody say being a hero was easy? No. Then you can do this. Just keep going and don't give up. Oh, I just need to keep practicing. Exactly. And you need to learn from other heroes. I mean, look at Hawkeye. He has no superpowers. He can just shoot a bow and arrow really well. Yeah, I guess that's kind of true. Uh, what is it with him? Why do all of the biggest heroes love him? Uh, sir, if you don't mind, we have to get going. Doctor Doom is at it again. All right, Jarvis, let's go. Hey, Nick, keep your head up, okay? Good luck with everything. Thanks, Iron Man. Thank you. Oh, that was so freaking cool. I've been trying so hard, training extra hours, studying even, but I just can't seem to find what my power is. Look, just trust me on this. Keep up with your training regimen. We have a lot more work to do. Trust me, I'm not gonna give up. I'm just frustrated is all. I wanna be a superhero so bad, and it's a whole lot easier if you can shoot lightning from your hand or blast fire at people. You're gonna become strong the way you were meant to be. So focus on what you do have and not what you don't have. <sighs> You're right. All right, let's just keep training. I'm gonna focus on what I do have. Now let's go. That's it, that's it. Come on, keep it up. I can do this. Come on, don't give up. I know you can do this. Yeah, but I still don't have my powers. There's nothing. Trust me, Nick, it will happen. It's going to. All right, everybody, I want you to remember that this is training, okay? Just a sparring practice. Don't get too crazy. Now, who would like to go first? Ooh, I would love to go first. All right, Dylan, and who would be your sparring partner? You know, I think I want to spar against my good friend, Nick. Dylan, you know that Nick does not have his powers yet. That's okay, Professor. I'm not scared. I'll spar against him. Well, if you accept, then off you go. All right, Dylan. Are you ready? <laughs> of course. You're about to be toast, kid. Ah! Oh! Ow! Man. All right, Nick, you proved your point. No. No, I haven't yet. <laughs> All right, here's seconds. Ah! Ow! All right, Nick, you've proved your point. Enough of this. No, I haven't proved my point. Not yet. Oh, how sad. After all this time of being here, you're still just as pathetic as day one. I am not pathetic. Yes, you are. You're still a powerless, weak loser. I'm not powerless. I'm not a loser. I'll show you. No! Ah! I, I did it. I have powers. Oh, oh, this is incredible. Let me try this one more time. Ah! Oh, man, this is so cool. See, see, I knew it. I knew you'd be able to, man. I thought for a while I was born without any powers. You know, I thought everybody was right, but I just had to believe in myself. Like you said, I have lightning powers now. I know, man. I'm so proud of you. You know, I mean, you probably have more than just being able to shoot a bolt of lightning. You know that, right? Yeah, you think so? Maybe I can like statically charge my feet so I can fly or uh, create like a bubble of electric energy. That would be so cool. Well, here, why don't you give this a whirl? One of my favorite things to do is be able to charge it up. So check this out. All you have to do, take your hands and rub them together really, really fast. And then, ah! whoa, okay. Like you said, rub my hands together really fast and ah! whoa, that was so cool. Man, there's gotta be so much more you can show me. Oh yeah, this is just the beginning. Don't you worry, we'll figure out what you can do. All right, just have some time between classes. I can probably fit a little more training in right before my next one. Hey, Nick. Dylan, out of my way, man. I'm not going anywhere. Just because you have a little static now doesn't mean I'm gonna do whatever you say. Better be careful, Dylan, because if I get really upset, I might end up zapping you into next week. You know what? I am so sick of everyone liking you more than me. Do you know why people like me more than you, Dylan? It's because I'm nice to people. Maybe you should learn to do the same. I work tirelessly. I train endlessly just for you to get all this credit and praise. And I'm sick of it. Ugh. 
Dylan, look at what you did now! I am going to destroy you! Yeah! Dylan, I am extremely disappointed in you. Do you have any idea how long it's going to take to repair that whole way? Professor, I was just defending myself. Ever since he's gotten his lightning power, he's gone insane. What? That's not true at all. I was the one defending myself. He started it. That's not true. All right, Dylan, I've had enough. I hate to do this, but I have no choice. You are expelled from hero school. What? Oh, you know what? Fine. Nick, I am never going to forget this. Dylan, wait, no. Just let him go, Nick. He's too upset, but he'll learn one day. I cannot believe how far you've come. I'm so proud of you, man. Oh, thank you. It's been a lot of hard work. I mean, you saw how often I was in that training room and you trained with me. None of this has been easy, but glad it's finally working out. This just in, breaking news. The city is under attack. There is a new supervillain in the city and we need help. <laughs> I will take over this city! Dylan? No, what happened to him? Oh, I'm gonna go stop him. I can't wait for anybody else. <gasps> okay, another successful landing. I can't believe how far I've come. I've always known I could be a hero. It's time for me to stop Dylan once and for all. All right, try this one more time. And go! There he is, Dylan! You! I should have known you'd show up. Dylan, all of this needs to stop right now. None of this will stop. You took every opportunity from me, everything to prove my worth. So this is how I'll prove how tough I am, how strong I've become. Dylan, you have a choice. You're going down a dark path. You don't need to follow it. You took that choice from me ever since I've been kicked out. You can change, Dylan. You don't need to be like this. You can still be a hero. It's too late for that. So take in the final moments of this city being free before I take it over. I am not going to let you do that. I'm sorry, Dylan. I have to. Ah! Ah! Maybe you don't want to be a hero, but I do. Let the Super Saiyan school training begin. Ezra, let's go. Yeah, no problem. Ah! Wow, Ezra, you're doing really well. Thanks a lot, Goku. All right, Jasper, you're up next. Yeah, good luck. You can't even go Super Saiyan. Whatever, Ezra. All right, Jasper, are you ready? Yeah, let's give it a shot. All right, go Super Saiyan. Ah! Ah! Still nothing. <laughs> you're pathetic. Oh! Hey, are you ready for practice, Jasper? Yeah, more than ever. Yeah, that's it. Oh, you've got it now. Come on, Jasper, don't give up. You're so close to going Super Saiyan. I know it. What was that, Gohan? Jasper's gonna go Super Saiyan? Let's see it then. I challenge you to a fight. Well, training's over today. Sorry. You know what? All right, let's go. Come on, Ezra. <laughs> Can't wait to see this. Why are you being like this? We're friends. We used to be till I realized that I'm way better than you. Now let's go. <laughs> see, nothing but a waste of my time. I can't believe I was friends with you for all those years. You're nothing. You know what? I'm so done with you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jasper, congratulations! You did it! Oh, it doesn't matter anyways. He's just a poor, orphan, trash Saiyan. And he will never be as powerful as me. All your hard work is really starting to pay off, Jasper. Look at you now. You're a Super Saiyan. I agree with Kakarot. You are doing incredible, Jasper. Great work. Thank you guys so much. I just didn't want to give up. Well, we're both really proud of you and all your hard work. Yes, it seems as though you're just as stubborn as Kakarot over here. Yeah, he does kind of remind me of me. <laughs> I think we should go celebrate with some food. What do you think? No, we don't have to. I should probably just keep training and getting stronger. Lesson one of Super Saiyan School, train as hard as you possibly can. But lesson number two is to remember that resting is just as important as training. And you need some rest. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let me go get ready. Well, hurry up. I'm hungry. What do you think you're doing? You're going to go eat? with Goku and Vegeta? They're the most two powerful Super Saiyans in the world. Yeah, and I can't believe it. I'm so excited. It's not fair. You don't deserve to go. I do. I went Super Saiyan way before you did. Yeah, and so what? Are you jealous of me, Ezra? No, of course I'm not jealous of you. I have a family that loves me. You have absolutely no one. Yeah, I am an orphan, and so what? I have a family here at Super Saiyan school. Now just leave me alone. You should probably focus on yourself. Trust me, I am. If he keeps it up, he's gonna graduate first. I can't believe Jasper's gonna steal the spotlight. I come from one of the strongest Saiyan families there is, and I'm not gonna let him be me. Ah! Oh! <laughs> 
Wait, I I'm sorry. No, get away from me. <laughs> I can't seem to do anything right. Jasper, this is all your fault. Well, I like your attitude. Wait a second, you're Frieza. I'm glad my reputation knows no bounds. You are our sworn enemy. I'm going to take you down. I'm a Super Saiyan. You better watch out. Ooh, Super Saiyan. I'm not here to fight you. Ezra, how do you know my name? Oh, I know all about you. And I saw your power level. You have potential to be the strongest Saiyan in the world. Even stronger than Goku. Yeah, of course I will be. There's someone in my way. Oh, I can help with that. But first, you have to help me. I'm listening. Well, now we're going to learn how to do the Kamehameha. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Kame! Kame! Ah! See? Not too bad, right? Whoa! That was awesome! Uh, thanks! It's kind of my signature move. Why don't you give it a try? Alright, let me give it a shot. Kame! Kame! Ha! Ah! Oh. Nothing happened. Oh, don't worry. You just need a little more practice, that's all. I promise. I'll practice so I can totally do it. Kakarot, we have a problem. Vegeta? W what is it? Go on. He's missing. No one has seen him. Gotta be somewhere. We believe he's been taken. Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I gonna do? That's my son. We have to save him. We will save him. But we have a responsibility here at the school. I can help out. Gohan is my friend, too. Took you long enough, Trunks. Thanks, Dad. Nice to see you, too. Do you promise to keep an eye on all the students while we go and find Gohan? Absolutely. I'll make sure to keep the school safe while you search. All right. Vegeta and I will go. We'll be back later. Good luck. Is it because you're Super Saiyan now? You're better than me? <laughs> enough, enough. Training's over. Wait, why? Because I can tell you're distracted. What's going on? We should be out there trying to find Gohan with Goku and Vegeta. You can't be serious. Of course I'm serious. I think we should stay here. You're reckless, Jasper. Now that you've become Super Saiyan, your head is starting to get huge. I agree with Ezra. We should listen to Goku and Vegeta, and if they need help, we'll know. You know nothing about being a Super Saiyan. It's not just about running around and fighting all the time. I think we should take a little break. Ezra, come back here. What? Just leave me alone. This doesn't sound like you. You'd be the first person to show off how powerful you are. Well, yeah, of course, because I'm way more powerful than you. So what gives? Oh, well, I don't want to be kicked out of Super Saiyan school for disobeying the rules. Although, on second thought, maybe you should go out there on your own and get kicked out of school so I don't have to deal with the embarrassment of seeing your face. I wonder if maybe Ezra's right. What if they don't want my help because they think I'm not a true Super Saiyan? I know in my heart that I am a true Super Saiyan and I'm gonna show the world. What was that? I gotta go check it out. Ah, Zarbon! It was easy to break into this school, don't you think? Yes, just like Lord Frieza said. Now, start causing chaos as he ordered. You got it! Ah, ah! We are ordered to destroy this school! Yes, but we're looking for someone, and we don't want to blast him before we find him. Oh my gosh, Ezra, the school's under attack! Yeah, it's Zarbon and Dodoria. Those are Frieza's cronies. We gotta try to stop them! Those guys are super powerful! Even when the school's under attack, you're still not gonna do anything. <sighs> do it myself then. Hey, you two. Oh, Dodoria, look. It's the little Saiyan we've been looking for. Why don't you pick on someone your own size, huh? I think he's talking about you, Dodoria. <laughs> He'll regret that, stupid Saiyan. I'm gonna protect this school. <laughs> <laughs> Dodoria! You're going to regret that. <laughs> I'm so glad I found Lord Frieza's prize. It's over for you, too. <laughs> no! Oh, man, where am I? Oh, thank goodness you're awake. Trunks, what happened? You got in a fight with Zarbon and Dodoria, and I finished it. That means I was defeated? I guess I'm not a true Super Saiyan after all. Don't talk like that. Of course you are. You're just not strong enough yet, but you will be. Trunks! Trunks, there you are! Oh, Jasper, I'm glad you're awake. We heard the school was under attack. What happened? It was Frieza's goons, but more importantly, they were after Jasper. Curious! First Gohan, and now Jasper. Why would they be after students at the school? I don't know, but I sense Frieza has a great plan involved in this somehow. But we have to make sure we focus our search and find Frieza before anyone else gets taken. Looks like your attack on the school failed, Frieza. What happened? You dare approach Frieza. Uh, your men were not supposed to lose. Why didn't you send the Ginyu Force? Said you sent Zarbon into Doria? Seriously? I don't like the tone in your voice, Ezra. 
Trunks is a powerful Super Saiyan. He could defeat many of my minions. You lied. I didn't lie at all. You said the school would be unprotected. I didn't know you could be so weak, Frieza. Just one Super Saiyan and your team runs away. Wow. Should have trusted my faith in someone, I don't know, like Cell or Boo. Ah! Oh! Never speak back to me or I'll destroy you too. My plans are just getting started. And if you step in my way again, you will regret it. Ezra, I can't believe you. What you're doing is so wrong. Shut up, Gohan. I have this under control. Really? It doesn't look like it. You're turning your back on everyone at the school, including the other Super Saiyans. You don't understand what's happening here. Frieza thinks he's playing me. I'm playing him. And when I defeat Frieza, I'll become the most powerful Super Saiyan in the world. And they'll forget all about Jasper. 103. Uh, 104. Uh, uh, what the heck is your problem? You know I haven't fully recovered from the attack, right? If it was me, I would have definitely recovered by now. But you? <laughs> it's gonna take you months. You're weak. Uh, uh, you know what? That's it. Why don't you try and catch me? I'm already right behind you. Uh, uh, oh. I know what you're trying to do, Ezra. You're just trying to get me in trouble. Of course I am. I want you gone. We used to be such good friends. But that was only because I was better than you. And now you're becoming stronger? I'm not gonna let that happen. I want you to give up and leave. Well, I'm not going anywhere. If you don't leave on your own, I'll just get you kicked out. <laughs> ah! All right, what's going on in here? I knew it, you two are fighting again. Ezra, you know the rules. No one at the school can see my true power, and I'll prove it to you all. Just wait and see. He feels like I've been flying forever. Where's Ezra going? What could he be doing here? I've got a bad feeling about this. You're going to do what? I'm gonna drop out of Super Saiyan school. I'm too good for that place anyways. I'm very confused, Ezra. You're supposed to be the mole on the inside of the school. Well, the plans have changed. You're supposed to return with Gohan and be the superhero of the school. And I was supposed to capture your friend Jasper and steal his power. Well, I'm starting to think that I'll help you destroy the school completely. Then we have much to discuss. Ezra's been working with Frieza the whole time? What's going on? Hey, Jasper, over here! Gohan! I'm so happy to see you, Jasper! We gotta go find my dad right now! Alright, come on, let's get out of here! Now our attack should be on a Friday after- Wait! No, look! The cage is empty! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Ezra, you silly man! I now see the truth! <laughs> You were a distraction while someone came and freed Gohan. Let me out of here, Frieza. There's a price for betraying me. What am I gonna do? Gohan's a little tired and a little hungry, but he's gonna be okay. He just needs to recover. I can't believe you saved him, Jasper. Great job. Yeah, we've got a bigger problem, though. Frieza's the one behind everything. As usual. And not only that, Ezra's behind this whole thing, too. I have a feeling he could be in trouble. Well, of course Ezra's in trouble. Working with Frieza is not good. I'm not powerful enough yet, but let me go with you. I can help. You know, Goku, you could actually help out a bit. I've been best friends with Ezra for years. Maybe I can get through to him. You're definitely not strong enough yet. You haven't had enough training to take on Freeze on your own, but with this Sensu Bean, you can definitely be as powerful and help me out. Wait, seriously? If you eat this, it'll make you insanely powerful, but only for a little while. All right, well then, I'm ready. This is the place, but it's completely destroyed. Looks like there was a great fight that happened here. We should split up. Try to find them. Got it. <laughs> Pathetic, Ezra. This is over. Leave my friend alone. You are the one I've been looking for. The poor orphan Saiyan with no family. <laughs> Why do you want me? Because your power levels are strong. And I have two options to give you. You join me. Or option two, I steal your power for myself. Neither of those things are going to happen, Frieza. It's over for you, Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I predicted. Jasper, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Goku to the rescue, but this time it's too late. You feel that sensu beam yet? I think so. We'll do it together. Ah! No! No! Jasper, Goku, as 
Ezra? Ezra, I am disappointed in you. You're suspended for what you've done. Working with Frieza? That breaks all the rules at the school. Goku, thank you for believing in me. Well, of course I did, Ezra. You only needed to believe in yourself. All right, you got this, Dale. Just focus on what you want. To be Spider-Man. Oh, oh no! Ah! Oh, man. <laughs> Look at that loser! Honestly, Dale, that was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Get out of here, Steve. I didn't ask you. I'm trying my best, all right? Well, clearly your best isn't good enough. How did you even get into this school to begin with? Just take this! Ah! Hey, what's the matter with you? Dude, knock it off. We're supposed to be heroes here. We shouldn't be fighting each other. You think you're a hero? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're never gonna be a hero, Dale. Uh, ugh. I'm sick of these lazy students just lying around. Get out of here. I gotta clean up. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, hey, Spider-Man. Dale, you were not in class earlier today. Is everything all right? Uh, I don't know. I'm having second thoughts. I'm not sure if I'm cut out for this. You've got to be kidding me. No, I'm not. I want to be like you so bad more than anything. But I just feel like I always mess up. How am I supposed to save someone out there if I can't even carry my own weight? You think it was easy my first time swinging around the city on my webs? Absolutely not. I face planted more times than I could count. You? You messed up, but you're like a legend. Well, of course I'm a legend now. But back then... I was nothing. Just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. It's all about the attitude you have, Dale. You can do anything as long as you've got a good mind. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm gonna keep trying my best. I promise. At least I didn't get a concussion or anything. Just so tired. I need a rest. But no, I need to keep practicing and keeping my head up. Come on, Dale. Shoot the web. Come on. Ugh! You serious? This sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does suck, idiot. Do you not have anything better to do than just make fun of me? Um, as of right now, no, not really. This is kind of my downtime. Watching you try to be Spider-Man is a joke. You're never gonna be a Spider-Man. Yeah, and you sure won't with that attitude. The number one thing about being him is being a good person, and you're obviously not that. You're pathetic. Just make sure you don't get in my way. You'll probably get in your own way anyway. You know what? I'm starting to get sick of your mouth. Maybe I'll knock you out again and teach you a lesson. All right, all right. That is enough. Golden Spider-Man. Uh, we weren't doing anything, sir. I saw everything that happened. Steve, back off, all right? Stop trying to cause some more trouble. What did you do? Tattle on me? No, I didn't say anything. That is enough. Especially after the incident earlier today, Steve, you're on thin ice. What? I didn't do anything. Now you're lying to me. The other students told me what happened. You're suspended for three days for that. You have got to be kidding. No, I can't be suspended. My mind's made. Ugh, Dale, you better be ready when I come back, because you're going to regret this. All right, everybody, calm down, calm down. All right, it's time for our next lesson. We're going to work on your skills and communication. Oddly enough, it's very important for a hero. Sometimes you need to work on calming people down. So that's the skill we're going to practice today. Dale, you're up first, and you have to calm down the angry Hulk. The angry what? Hulk angry. No, 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 calm, calm down, buddy. Uh, uh, we can talk about this. Ah! Dale, focus on calming him down. Come on. I'm trying. Ah! Ah! Oh, man. All right, big guy. Sun's getting real low. Time to calm down and relax. Oh, stupid stupid. Student. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. How am I supposed to calm that guy down? He's the angriest person on the planet. I didn't say it was going to be easy. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm going to get better at this. I promise. Well, I told you I'd be back. Still as pathetic as ever, I see. Uh, what's up, Steve? I hope you learned your lesson from all of this and we could just finally put our differences aside. Absolutely not. You and I are never going to be friends. Why? We have the same goals. We should all be working together to be the best heroes that we can be. I already am the best hero I can be. Not with that mindset, you're not. You seem a little too cocky, Steve. It's called confidence, Dale. It's something you lack. Yeah, it's because I know that I'm not ready yet, and I'm trying to get to that point. I'm going to earn my confidence, and I'm going to earn the title to be Spider-Man. <laughs> Still as dumb as ever, too. I'm going to do what I have to do to be the best, and that's what it takes. And I'm going to make sure you'll never be Spider-Man. Being Spider-Man is my dream, okay? I'm going to do whatever I need to in order to fulfill that. You know what? I've been suspended for three days. There's a lot of things I need to catch up on like payback and putting you in your place watch out dale Man, this is a lot harder when there's people like steve around no matter what he tells me i'm not gonna listen to him because that's exactly what he wants me to do i can't give up not everything i've been through and especially with my dad 
back in the hospital, right before I lost him, I promised him that I was gonna become a hero. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I can't fail now. You lost your father too, huh? Oh, uh, Iron Man, I, I didn't see you there. Yeah, I heard everything. And I heard you also wanna work really hard. Is that the truth? I just wanna be a hero. I have a lot of promises that I need to fulfill. And I wanna do whatever I can to make sure that I do that. Good, it takes heart, kid. Take it from me. I had to make my own heart. I know what it's like to lose a father. It's one of the most difficult things to have to go through. But you seem like you already have the right attitude and I wanna help you make sure that you succeed. Wait, what? You wanna help me? Why would you do that? Well, there was someone else that needed the help to become a hero and I helped them out. Who? Your very own teacher himself, Spider-Man. You really think he was perfect off the start? Yeah, I know. Everyone's gotta start from somewhere. You're right. Good, training starts tomorrow. Be ready. All right, I'm ready for the first day of training. Good, because it's gonna be a long journey ahead. I'm warning you right now. Are you sure you're gonna be able to handle it? I'm ready for whatever. Let's start. <sighs> That's it. Keep the form. Don't lose it. Keep up a little bit. You're losing focus. I'm trying. <sighs> wow. I can do it. I can finally do it. See, look at that. You're going to accomplish your dream in no time now and be the best Spider-Man. You're probably better than the last one. You mean that? I know it. Just keep working hard and whatever you do, don't tell the other Spider-Man I said that. I want to be the one that says it to his face. All right, everybody. Today, we're going to be learning some more hand-to-hand -hand combat. Dale, why don't you come up first? All right, here we go. And we need to find someone to spar with Dale. Oh, come on, please let me. Steve, are you serious about this? You need to be professional. Yeah, I got this. Oh, man. All right. Bring all you got, Steve. Uh oh You're not ready for this. Huh? 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 Ow! Oh! Mm, no! No, you hit me too hard! Whoa, great defense, Dale. Nice form. Thanks. I've been practicing every single day. No, he's not. He cheated! Dale, I'm standing right here. I can clearly see he did not cheat. This is so dumb! He's the worst Spider-Man ever! Dude, just own up to the fact that I beat you. There's no shame in that. We're all learning here. No! The only one that deserves to be Spider-Man is me, not you! All right, Steve, enough. With that attitude, you're definitely not meant to be a Spider-Man. Get out of my class. Ugh, this is so dumb! Class actually went good today. <laughs> oh my gosh, Doc Ock? Well, if it isn't a little spider out of his web. <laughs> Anyone? Guys, Doc Ock is here. We need, we need backup now. No one is going to help you. Spider-Man and Golden Spider-Man are my captives. And I'm going to take over the school now. Not if I have anything to say about it. You? <laughs> I'm not wasting my energy on a wannabe Spider-Man. Yeah, we're going to find out how real I am real soon. <laughs> you can't defeat me. I'm going to crush all of you impudent spider freaks and your teachers. No, you won't. Ah! Oh! I did it. Wait, Spider-Man, Golden Spider-Man, where are they at? Oh, there you guys are. Oh man, what did he do to you guys? I gotta save you. I gotta let you guys free. All right, everybody. All right, calm down. Listen, I think as you all know, we were attacked last night by Dr. Octopus. Oh, God, attacked us? How is everyone even still here? Unfortunately, he got the jump on me and Golden Spider-Man. But I have to admit, Dale acted like a hero. He saved this entire school. Wait, Dale? That's insane! Yeah, go Dale! Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Boo! Boo, he's pathetic! All right, Steve. I'm just trying to be a hero, and it seemed like the school needs saving. He's never gonna be a hero. He should be kicked out of this school forever. Steve, you need to leave this classroom right now. Spider-Man, I'm sick of him and his lies. He's pathetic, and I think your attitude is pathetic. Get out. Ugh, who does he think he is? Saving the whole school. Getting all the fame, all the glory. Everyone loves him now. They don't see how stupid and pathetic he really is. He's not better than me. I am gonna be the best Spider-Man this world has ever seen. I'm gonna be more famous than Spider-Man, even better than him. It's time to show the rest of the school how pathetic Dale really is. Where's his uniform? Where does that idiot keep it? Huh, right here, perfect. <laughs> and with just a little bit of this potion, this will shut down all of his powers. Can't wait to see the look on his stupid face when he tries to swing his web and falls flat on it. Hey, Dale. Oh no, what do you want, Steve? I just wanna challenge you to a little friendly competition. That's all. Dale, Steve, this is not healthy. Yeah, I don't have any problems with this guy. He seems to be the one that's always coming at me with new things. Look, I've done a lot of thinking, okay? All I wanna do is beat you in this competition, and then we won't have any issues. I'll let everything go, I promise. Fine, let's just hurry up and get this over with. Well, I wanna see which one of us has the fastest web swing. I bet it's gonna be me. Allow me to go first. <laughs> 
Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh. Dale, Dale, are you okay? Wait a second. What is that? Sensing something. Uh, I don't know. I, I couldn't swing. My power just wasn't there. It's almost like your uniform is soaked in something. It's like a potion of some kind. I think you've been sabotaged. Steve, did she really do this to me? What's wrong with you? What? Why would I sabotage you? Waste my time. Steve, I have had it with you and your attitude. This will not be accepted. You are permanently expelled from Spider-Man school. Spider-Man, I... No! Enough is enough. Now go. Did you really say Dale was better than me when you were training? Come on, admit it. I did. He was a little bit better. It doesn't matter, guys. What did you guys call me over here for? Well, Dale, this is a pretty big occasion. I wanted to tell you, you've passed all of your classes, but the real test starts now. It's up to you to stop crime and help people in need in this city. Are you ready for that? Of course, I'm more than ready. I've been preparing for this moment for so long now. Well, it looks like your moment has finally come. Make us and the rest of the city proud, kid. Somebody help, please. I'm having my baby. Somebody please help us. Oh my gosh, quick. This way, this way. Uh, here he is. A beautiful baby boy. Oh, this baby just shocked me. Uh, all, right, all right, you take it. Just get, get it away from me. That's so strange. Does my baby have like superpowers or something? Doctor, there's a tornado heading this way. It's gonna knock out all the power. We need to do something about the people on life support. If the power cuts out, they're done for. Oh no, what do we do? Ah, the power's out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that baby just saved everyone's lives. Stay away from me. Get back over here, four eyes. I'm sick and tired of this. One thing's for sure, I just can't let them know I have powers. Brack, brack, get over here, chicken. Poor little James, nowhere else to run. <laughs> get away from me. You don't want to mess with me. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, you freak. Take this. You, you freak! I don't want to be here anymore! Let's go, Brock! Don't leave me here with him! Did I just do that? There you are, James. How was school? It was horrible! James, get back here! No, I just want to be left alone! James, what is wrong? Everyone at school hates me! All they do is call me a freak! Why would I want to be around anything like that? Ugh, this again. James, you are not a freak. Yeah, well, what's this then? That doesn't make you a freak, James. That makes you powerful. What if power isn't what I want? All I want is just to fit in and be normal and actually have some friends. Listen, I understand growing up is really hard, but it's not going to be hard forever. When you get older, things are going to change. No, this will never change. I'm going to have this power forever. This is a curse, Dad. This is not a curse. It's a blessing to have superpowers. You can use them for good, and one day, you're gonna save the world. Where's the bus? It should be here by now, right? Is that Brittany? She's like the most popular girl in school. That guy's not stopping. Oh no! I can't believe it. You can fly? All I know is I saw you in trouble, and I knew I had to try and help you. I don't even remember flying, honestly. It was just a flash. Well, thank you. What's your name? My, my name's James. Oh, hi. I'm Brittany. All right, time to watch TV. James, no TV. Come on, you know better. It's dinner time. Come on, it's Saturday. I want to watch Shane Plays too. And I think everyone should be subscribed if they aren't. I know, but come on. Dinner's getting cold. Someone's at the door. Hello? Uh, hi. Who are you? I'm actually here to help you. I heard about a unique little incident that had happened today. Mind if I step in? We can talk about this out here. Listen, what happened today at school was... No, Dad. I, I can explain. There's no need to explain. I'm already well aware that you have powers. You know I have what? How did you find this out? That is not important. What I've come here to do is to invite you. I run an academy for gifted individuals such as yourself, and I'd like to invite you to come join us. I'm not just gonna let my son join you. How do I know I can trust you? I'll be able to help him learn to control his powers. I don't I don't know, Dad. I think this may be good for me. If I know how to handle my powers, then I'll know how to not use them. Honestly, there's no rush to answer now. If you have questions, if you're worried, you can look us up online. If you want to get in touch, send me an email. I'll be happy to talk. This is a lot to think about. We'll be in touch. James and his dad looked into the school, and they found it out to be legit. Some of the world's best superheroes actually went there. It was hard, but James decided that it was the right thing for him to do. He was sad because his lifelong crush Brittany had finally noticed him, and she was sad when he said goodbye, but he packed up his bags and made the hard decision he knew would be right for his future. Oh man. Uh. All right. 
That's enough. Wrap it up. Dr. Rome, I thought you said this training would be difficult. How did you get the best of me? I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be. You're letting your opponent get the best of you. You gotta learn to keep your emotions under check. I'm trying, but the pressure of winning, it's always in the back of my head. Honestly, James, you should just forget about winning because there's no chance you're ever gonna win against me. Zach, just shut up, man. Oh yeah? Why don't you make me shut up? I didn't want to do this, but... Ah! Boys, boys, break it up. That's enough. James, go cool off outside. Yeah, I will. <laughs> okay, something's clearly off. What is going on with you? It's just, it's about Brittany. Uh, you really been talking about? Yeah, it's, she, she found someone else. Aw, oh, James, I'm really sorry to hear, but if you love someone, set them free. If they come back, it was meant to be. There's no real way of knowing if it was meant to be. I think it was just a mistake coming here. It was too much to sacrifice. Look, it doesn't make a difference. No matter what happens, things are gonna play out as they should. You can't change destiny. I just, I, I love her so much. I can't even imagine myself without her. All the time we spent together, it just felt right. The only thing that's felt right in my entire life. Keep your chin up. You'll realize that you made the right choice coming here. You'll see it one day. I hope so. James, you are the strongest student I have ever seen. You are gonna change the world one day. I'm counting on it. Most powerful student? Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> you know, you really are absolutely pathetic. Zach, just leave me alone. I'm trying to practice in peace here. Oh, and what are you gonna do? Now that you're Dr. Rome's little pet, are you gonna tell on me? No, this working and I'm trying to improve on who I am. You should do the same. You just think you're better than everybody else, don't you? That isn't true at all, Zach. You made me look like an idiot in front of Dr. Rome, and I'm gonna make you pay for doing that. Ugh! Ugh, look at what you made me do! What I made you do? You did that on your own. We need to fly out of here. Ugh, I am so sick of you telling me what to do! Zach, stop it. I'm not trying to fight you, man. It's not fair. You just come in here and you're instantly the best. That doesn't matter. All I'm doing is working hard just like I should be. You need to stop being concerned with other people and care more about yourself. Zach, I have had it up to here with your antics. That is it. You are expelled from the academy. What? No! No, please, Dr. Rome! I have been trying to be patient with the both of you, and this is where it crosses the line. Leave. Ugh, this isn't over, James. And now a speech from our valedictorian and the number one student in school, James! Look, I just wanted to quickly say how important it is to work hard and believe in yourself. Even when things are looking tough, never doubt yourself. At first, I was very iffy, but now I know for certain that I'm gonna dedicate my life to help other people in need. I used to think my powers were a curse, but now I realize that they're the biggest blessing I could ever have, with the exception of one person. Thank you, everyone. Brittany, you showed up. Of course I did. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Oh, well, how's, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, we broke up. And I've been thinking a lot about you. I miss you so much. I've never stopped thinking about you, Brittany. I know it's a lot, but I love- Oh, what's this? A class reunion without me? <laughs> Zach? Hi, James. Did you miss me? Because I never forgot what you did to me. Ha! Zach, wait! Ah. Let's talk about this! There's no point in talking anymore. You took everything that I cared about away from me. And I'm gonna do the same for ah. you. Oh no, you don't! Get out of here, Zach. Oh, don't worry. I'm gone, but I'll be back. This is just the beginning. There's no way you're gonna stop me. <laughs> oh, my leg! Please, someone help me! I'll be right there! Oh, you you actually saved me. Thank you so much. Hey, you freeze! No, you don't understand. I'm a good guy. I just saved this guy. The bad guy's up there. You guys are all bad guys. You and your stupid powers. No, please. He, he saved me. He's telling the truth. It doesn't matter because they're all gonna be under arrest. I'm sorry. I can't let that happen. Get back here! I remembered your face! just wish for once someone would just be grateful for this. Yeah, that's right. And he flew away. Hey, oh, 
Is that on? Now you're running from the cops, James? I'm concerned. Look, there's nothing to be concerned about, okay? I saved the guy and I did the right thing. The cops, they just don't understand. See, I know you did the right thing, but no one else knows. I don't do this for rewards, you know that. I do it because helping people, it's the right thing to do. I just worry about you, that's all. I promise I'm gonna be okay. Well, you better be. Our wedding's coming up. We have a life that we have to start together. I just heard the best news of all time. James is marrying Brittany, huh? <laughs> this is perfect. Wow, look at her. Absolutely beautiful. This is the happiest I've ever been. Ah! What? What's happening? No! Did I miss the part where we all object to the wedding? <laughs> That's it, Zach. I've had it up to here. This was my special day. Oh, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> You're gonna pay for this. James, no! Brittany, run! So sorry, my dear, but you are not getting married today. <laughs> James! No! No! Brittany! It's too late! I just need to think. I need to think. Where can I find her? Dad, I don't know what to do. First thing is first. Take a deep breath and calm down. I can't calm down, Dad. The love of my life is missing, and he ruined the most important day of my life. James, you are smart. Anger is just gonna cloud your head. You need to stay calm so you can think about things clearly. I can't think. The only thing I know is that I need to save her. Of course you do, but you need to be smart about it, James. I know. I hope she's okay. Ugh, I gotta find a way out of here. Darling, there's no point. You should just give up now. Why? Why are you doing this to me? What have I ever done to you? Oh, you actually didn't do anything. It was your good-for-nothing husband. James? He's a good man. You don't know anything about James. And I'm gonna see him suffer. Zach, let her go now. Well, it's about time you showed up to the party. If you want her so bad, come and get her. I will. Ah! Oh. James, get me out of here. Are you okay? Did he hurt you in any way? I I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I can't wait another day without marrying you. I want to marry you right now. And I want to be with you for the rest of my life because I can't afford to lose you. But what about Zach? I have to take care of that first. I I'll be right back. Hey, it's this punk. Fire stick or whatever he calls himself. Hey, you. Thanks. James, the baby. It's coming. Okay, okay. Just remember everything that we practice. Stay calm. It's time to go to the hospital. We need a doctor, please, quick. Oh my goodness. Right this way, please. All right, Brittany, take one more time and push. Ah. Well, you have a new healthy baby boy. Congratulations. He is perfect. Ah. <laughs> Looks like he takes after his dad. I'm sorry, Brittany, I have to go. But the baby is sick and, and you're just gonna leave. I have no other choice. Someone's attacking the city. That's what you always say. But guess what? Your family needs you right now. I know, but I can't just quit being a hero. Other people need me too. Are they more important than us? You can be our hero. Look, it's a part of me. I have these powers and I have to use them for good. I can't believe you'd leave us. I'll be back soon, I promise. It'll be like I never left. Where are they? Where's my wife and son? Sir, please, you need to calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. I just need to know where they are. We're over here. It's Lucas. It's his heart. What? What do you mean? He's in surgery right now. I'm sorry I wasn't there. I just, I promise I won't ever leave you guys again. Not after this. I know you didn't do this on purpose. I understand. And you're here now. I just want my family and my son to be okay. And that is more important to me than anything. And I'm not going to miss out on being there for him again. We'll get through this together. Oh, hey, Lucas. Dad, you're finally home. I learned something new at school today. Oh, yeah? What'd you learn? Come on, I want to show you. Okay, okay, just in a minute, all right? I want to talk to your mom real quick. James, welcome home. How was your day? Uh, it's boring. I barely got through it, but... That's why I think you should go back to being a hero. Wait, wh what do you mean? You know I can't do that. We've talked about this. You were the number one person that wanted to be normal. It's just not right. I see you in these normal clothes, and you look miserable. I, I can't go back. Not after Lucas almost dying. The fact that I wasn't there... It wasn't 
your fault. All I wanted was our lives to be normal. But after seeing all this, I know that our normal is you being a hero. I, I don't know. What? Lucas? Dad, see? I told you I learned something at school. Look at this. Bam, bam, bam. All right, Zach, it's time. Finally, I've waited a long time for this day. <laughs> All right, you're a free man now. Now, where's my money? I did what you asked me to. Oh, your money, right. Um, it's right here. <laughs> Lucas, come on, I said no. Dad, it's not fair. I wanna go out. We're gonna have a family day today. It's gonna be nice, all right? Just you, me, and your mom. Yeah, I get that. But I have an opportunity to go out and work with the new heroes. We're the next generation, Dad. Did you forget what day it was, though? It's a Thursday. What are you talking about? Dad, I don't have time for this, all right? I have stuff I need to do. Lucas! Wow, did he really just leave you on your 50th birthday? Yeah, I guess so. I don't even think he knew it was my birthday. I just, I wish he could have stayed. All right, so this is where Clyde and Dane said to meet them. They're not here. Clyde? Dane, are you here? Guys, where are you? Hello? I must be the only one here. What is that noise? Whoa, wait a second. You look familiar. Your name is Zach, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I'm an old friend of your father's. All right, cool, man. Uh, listen, I'm gonna get going. Oh, you're not going anywhere. You're coming with me. Yeah, right, old man. I'm not going anywhere. Take this! <laughs> that was pathetic. Just like your father, only weaker. You know nothing about my father! He's a great hero! Stronger than you'll ever be! If you care about your father so much, why aren't you with him on his birthday? What? Oh, man, it is his birthday! Ha ha ha! Stupid like your father, too. Oh, well, doesn't matter because you're not going to be seeing them anytime soon. Yeah, just try and stop me. Oh, I will. Ah! Ah! Come on, Lucas, answer. What's up, nerds? It's Lucas. Leave a message after the beep. Maybe I'll call you back. Lucas, just, just call me back when you get a chance, okay? I'm sorry we got in an argument yesterday. I love you. Where is he? James, I need you to come with me. What is it, Mr. Mayor? I have a lot of important things going on right now. There's no time to waste. I need you to come with me now. All right, what is it? What did you need to show me? What is that? Is that Zach? And my son? He's been following him? How could this happen? How did he escape jail? Apparently he's back and he's stronger than ever. Oh no, that explains it. He had to have taken Lucas. I think you need to save the city one last time. You need to put a stop to this madman. Don't worry, Mayor, I will. I know I have to get out of here. There's got to be a way. What if I zap over here? If you do that, it will reflect back and hit you in the face. There's no point. You can't escape. Listen, I understand you and my dad have a whole big issue, but you can't bring me into this. <laughs> you have an attitude just like your father. Yeah, and my dad would probably do something like this. Yeah! What? I can't believe that worked. Yeah, I can't believe it worked either. And you are next. You really think you can take me? I've been training for years. I'm stronger than you'll ever be. That might be true, but I am going to stop you. Why would you do that when you could join me instead? Join you? Yeah, right. I'll take my other option. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Lucas, I'm here to... Wait, I can't believe it. Lucas, y you stopped him? Yeah, I did. I can't believe it myself. Listen, Dad, I'm really sorry about everything, okay? I was acting like a total selfish jerk. It's okay. I'm just glad you're all right. I'll be fine, but I still think I have a lot to learn. The mayor held a press conference at the police station, congratulating James on defeating the strongest villain known to their city, but he confessed it wasn't him. It was Lucas. He announced that he was retiring, and his son would be taking up his place as the hero of the city. He spent time training Lucas and encouraging him. Together, they started working as a team, and things started to finally seem to slow down a bit and work out for James. They worked together as father and son over the next few years, until one day, James got really sick, and he was rushed to the hospital. All right, we're losing him. Clear! No, no, it's not working. Try it again. Clear! We're losing him! Dad! Yeah! Ah, what happened? You had a massive heart attack and we were losing you. But, uh, your son just zapped you? Lucas, you just saved me. I really had a heart attack? Yeah, you did. It was really scary, Dad. 
thought we were gonna lose you for a second. Well, I feel fine now. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. You just had a massive heart attack. You need to rest. Dad, just listen to the doctor, okay? I need you to rest up. I need you. Okay, okay, I will. Come on, Lucas, I'll race you. <sighs> Dad. James, what do you think you're doing? I was just having some fun, that's all. Need I remind you, you are 70 years old. You can't be pushing it. You're not young like you used to be. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm a hero after all, I have the powers, I can handle it. You just had a heart attack, mister. We almost lost you, and I can't bear the thoughts of anything else happening to you. I want you to be safe. I am, I am. I'm safely in first place too because Lucas lost. <laughs> Dad, there's no way. You cheated. Don't worry. One day you'll be better than your old man. But just not today. Well, I heard on the news today that Zack was very sick. Wait, really? Well, good. Serves him right. It's not the way to think, Lucas. I need to go talk to him. What? You're going to go talk to him? Your arch nemesis? Why? I need closure. And I want him to know that someone's there. No one deserves to die alone. Zack. Oh, it's you. What did you do? Show up and fight me one last time? <laughs> no, old friend. I think the only thing that you're fighting right now is time. You might be right. I never thought this day would come. I don't think either of us did. Do you have any idea why I've hated you? For so long. Uh, no, I didn't know. Ever since I met you back at the academy, I've been jealous of you. I always knew that you would be better than me and stronger than me, and I couldn't take it. I know sometimes, in those situations, feelings can get the best of you, but Dr. Room taught both of us to not let that get in the way. While we can't change the past, we can change how we act from this point on. James, James. Always with his hero speeches. I've made my choices. Not all of them were good, but I made those choices and I have to live the rest of my life with them. As long as you can forgive yourself. Goodbye, Zach. Rest easy. Zack passed away shortly after his visit. James spent more time with his family, Lucas and Brittany. But just like him, time took its toll, and he got older. And on his 100th birthday, the town celebrated one of the greatest superheroes that ever lived. Whoa, you're one of the coolest superheroes to ever live. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Growing up, my dad would always tell me stories about how you would save the city. Ah! Oh, speaking of saving the day, I need to go make sure that person's all right. Yeah, just give me a stuff, all right? I'm not going to ask again. Ugh! Hey, is this guy bothering you? Oh, my. Oh, no. Sir, are you okay? My, my heart. Oh, my gosh. Sir. Ugh!